What's up guys, my name is Zero Heroes and welcome back to another video and this time today I'm going to be talking about Tankfest on between the 28th and the 30th of June 2019 which I did go to which I think I did say a week ago in my video uh, last weekend. Uh, was it last weekend? Yeah, I think it was last weekend. Uh, I did mention that I was going to Tankfest and if I if, if anyone saw me then I'd say hi, but I didn't see anyone. But I, there, I did see Quickie Baby. I didn't go up and say hi, but um, it was, you know, amazing just to just see him just in sight. It was amazing. But uh, besides, you know, seeing that, what I'm going to be doing is, first of all, as you see right here in front of you, you have the tank fest and what i'm going to be i'm going to be going through all not all of the pictures but some of the pictures that i took and took some of tank fest and i'm going to be showing some videos as well well i well of course i talk about tank fest so if you do want to stay here and listen to me then please do go ahead and if you want more of this then please do uh, leave a like and and subscribe and all of it i just love train of th thought there anyway yeah so tank fest 2019 what did i think of it first of all it this was the first time i ever went to see tank fest 2019 i mean i've been to the tank museum when it's not busy and that's quiet but this was like full of like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people so it was really amazing i mean uh, me and my dad went and it was just you know amazing you know to go through you know it, to go to this place and by the way like uh just like you no know, it was scorching down in england it was like really hot it was like 29 degrees and that's hot for us i mean it might not be hot for americans or any others any other country but it was hot and we thought this that was like our summer so as you can see in this photo uh this was when i was a uh, uh, and there were, I think there was an area, there was a bit, uh, there was a bit of the tank fest where you could go, if any of you been, you know the, if any of you have been, then let, of course let me know as well, but um, there was one where, where you know where all the tanks come on, like this big area where all the tanks are parked up and they drive onto the track well there's an area you can go to see all of the you know all of the tr all of the you know armored fighting vehicles and all the tanks so of course uh, you could, could you could actually go into the the arm some of the armored fighting vehicles and you see me up there at the top in one of the armored fighting vehicles it was it was really fun and really good this one was now this picture was actually at the front of outside the front of the museum as you could see there is a lot of people there and this and this tank if any of you know or any of you sorry don't know this is the challenger one which is at the main at the front of the museum and by the way bovington which is the area which is like a giant training area giant tank training area for for the royal tank for the army i guess for the army in britain so it is quite a popular if, if you do see tanks if you do go to bonington you'll probably see some tanks passing by or, or all that but in the tank museum that was me standing just against the challenger and that oh, that is always there that challenger's always been there and i love the challenger's absolute great tank but it's uh it was just amazing the event it was just absolutely mind-boggling and it's and this was me this picture was here when i was standing in the queue now this queue on saturday i say saturday was a lot much better than sunday but on saturday we had to stand in the queue and this was uh, it was of course i had to by the way this these all these pictures were taken on my phone so bear in mind that if it is i'm sorry if you know the picture is quite small it's just that i did take it on my phone ah and uh and um and i couldn't you know make it any bigger i didn't know what actually to use to kind of record it. i didn't know whether to use powerpoint i didn't know whether to use i, I didn't know what to use. i didn't know you know what to use so i just may as well just go through and slideshow so um i could probably uh 
uh, probably need to zoom in, but um, this was at the in the queue out kind of near the parking area, and these were the kind of two armored fighting vehicles, uh, two kind of modern. Are they modern? I don't know. See the grey one. The grey one just there. I think is an AA tank, uh, and it, it does have a kind of a anti-air gun. But it is German, and the one beside it, kind of like greeny sand color, I, I, I actually don't know what that is. I actually don't know what it is. It was like, I, I don't even know. And the, obviously, overall, it was amazing, but there was one problem. There was one problem out, all of, out of all of this hay fever. I blew up in hay fever. Because I have hay fever, my, my eyes were kind of like lashing out in red and it was and my nose started to dribble it, it, it get all blocked up and it, it was just horrible I mean this is the consequences of having you know summer in, in the UK you just lots of people with hay fever suffer so it wasn't great it wasn't great but except for that overall now this was actually inside the tank museum and as you can see at the back there is a, the tog the the toggy tog the 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 longest, longy, long. I don't, you know, I don't even know why Britain built this tank. It, it, in World of Tanks, it's amazingly stupid. But what Quickie Baby did, he gave away a, he gave away no life for me, a bunch of tier six togs for rental, and all you could see was the matchmaking was just all of tier six of togs, and it was amazing. Now, anyway, so I this was actually me kind of. Uh, kind of looking down on these tanks. So in front of me, kind of this, kind of uh, this green, dark green one here in front of me, is the I think it's the. <laughs> Don't fucking yawn! I'm fucking yawning. Excuse me. Um, this was the. I mean, these lined up were like the chieftains, the challengers, and I think beside me was a. Uh, was was a, a M103 or or what well, no it was a Conqueror that was it, it was a Conqueror um it was a full upgraded Conqueror and it was really cool so this was kind of in the cafeteria area so if you guys ever visit the Tank Museum this is a definitely area to to go visit uh, now this one this picture was actually this is a separate this whole area um was actually um, this is part of the World War One area, so as you can see, this is the. Uh, unfortunately, there are people standing in front of it, but I couldn't really get a better shot because people were walking in front of the camera and everywhere. But this was the. Uh, on top of that, I think, is for crossing trenches and all that because those tanks weren't very good at. I mean, they were for crossing trenches, but they could go. They broke down. Those tanks tend to break down a lot so I guess that I, I think that might be for like a bridge crossing um, for kind of infantry or for the tanks to cross so no but the the World War One area was like full that was just full of like like of the first world war area there was like the ASMV the first German tank it was literally all it was literally just a tin it was literally just a giant tin box look it up guys yeah, it's called the ASMV look up but that area if you walk in it is just full of just like it's full of just um areas of the world war one era and it shows some of the commanders and air uh, what they did during the war it, it was amazing now this picture again was at the f uh, when I was queuing up. There was the Centurion tank, and from that view, it just looks amazing. Just sitting up on that hill, it just looks amazing. Now I don't know if that's Centurion. I don't know if that's the early model or late model. Can kind of tell by the gun. Kind of looks like the Mark V or maybe Seven One. I don't actually know, but it was it just standing from in that queue where I was and looking up there. It was absolutely amazing. Now, I do actually have some videos here that I want to show you, so I'm quickly going to just wrap it up here and then I'm going to just let you guys watch the uh, couple videos I have here. So, this one actually here, it uh, was inside the tank museum and it was all the ger uh, one in front of you looks like a T-34 but it was actually a captured T-34 by the Germans, so these are all German tanks, but... Um, I'm just going to say overall the tank museum was just amazing first time impressions it was amazing 
Um, some of the videos you'll see was when I went outside to the circuit and the tanks went around and then you'll see some of the tanks in the video and it was just and there's actually the world of tank world of tanks uh, wargaming was there and you get you able to play on the pcs on the computers you only are allowed to play for like 10 minutes which is basically like, like one game and that's it but uh, it was scorching hot on the Sunday. Um, it was it was less busier, but it got busier during the day. And me and uh, actually me and my dad were staying in this nice B&B, and we met these two really nice guys uh, called. Uh, um, I actually I won't shout their names out just in case for privacy reasons. I'll just call them. Uh, one of them was called Blasty, which is their username, and the other one was like a number. Which I can't even re remember. Uh, hold up. Uh, I I can't. It's not. I think it started with like a zero. I can't. I can't. Oh, so it was a uh, three eight six five zero. Oh. For uh, I'll just put it as John and Josh. These two guys were absolutely amazing. Uh, we met them, and uh, and these guys were a big fan of Quickie Baby, and I didn't know that. It was like John uh, and. They stayed in the same B and B as as as, um, and it was these guys were just really nice. We had good talks. We kind of on the on the Saturday we kind of split up. Um, we didn't know where each other was, but on the Sunday we kind of stayed together. It was it was just amazing meeting uh, these guys. So Josh and John, if you are watching this, then. Uh, uh, shout out to you guys, you guys are just, you know, amazing, great people to me and hopefully I'll see you uh, if we play in a platoon in World of Tanks. But other from the, other from that, just going down to Bovington was just an amazing time and I absolutely loved it. So, um, yeah, I, there, there, it was just speechless, it was honestly just everything you saw there was just it was just everything you wanted to see. There was just area for kind of like it was showing you like all the guns. It wasn't just tanks, by the way. It was like showing you like all the like guns that the infantry used as well during World War Two, and you know all the machine guns, all the nest set up. The these guys were actually some of the guys were dressed up in uniform from World War Two. It was it was it was amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna let you guys watch these videos, and I will. Hopefully, I'd like to just say thank you very much for watching. I will catch up with you guys in hopefully a tomorrow's new video, uh, which probably will be Blitzkrieg 3 or something. I haven't decided which video yet, but I'm just going to let this these few videos play it and then I'm going to end the video. So what I'm going to say before I play it is I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching our support. It was just tank fest. I recommend you guys definitely going if you if you... If you guys or girls are into tanks and just World War Two, then this is certainly a place for you guys. Um, it, it was just amazing. It was I, I did apparently Mighty Jingles was there and Rita was there. I mean, I didn't see them at all. I mean I saw Quickie Baby but that's about it. But anyway guys, I'm gonna shut up now, I'm gonna play the videos and I hope the I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Ali, thank you so much for watching in our sport, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. We were the first to use the skirt of the British Army at uh, Alamein, um, so the first to see in service, and the British Army just like the tank coming on behind, the M3 Stuart. Um, David mentioned earlier the way that uh, British soldiers were to pull them up.
gun is put in sideways. Because the loading it is rather difficult, because the length of the valve's ammunition, the gun is quite amazing. That's quite amazing. Have a look at that tank. It's got something that you won't see in other Shermans. It's got a cast hull. It's fully armoured like any other vehicle, but the whole armouring is made of castings. Originally, it was decided that castings were not as good as rolled armour plate, which is flat and welded together. But um, later on, the Americans developed a method of casting, which meant that their tanks were as good in cast form as they were as armoured vehicles.